cleaning tool, the cinch. And the cinch is made with the same quality as their other tools, like the Big Bite or the Cropodile, as in you can use it to cut through chipboard or thin tin, acrylic, and up to 20 sheets of thin weight paper. So some of the other items you're going to want to get with your cinch might be the wire cutters and also the binding wires. And they sell the binding wires in the white, silver, black, and gold. And the sizes available in all the colors are 3 quarters of an inch and 1 inch and 1 and a quarter of an inch. And as you can see, you get two long pieces in each package. And they also sell the designer book board in the plain and the white and in the black. And they have 12 by 12 sizes and 6 by 6 and 8 and a half by 11. And all of these are archival safe and they come with two pieces in each so you can create a front and a back to your homemade books. The cinch is perfect for crafting and school projects and will create professional results for the office. And other ideas that people use are to make their own notebooks, recipe books, journals, reports, calendars, albums and punching fun borders for your scrapbooking. Now I'm going to show you some of the components of the cinch and then I will show you how to actually use it. When you press the handle down you can lift up this belt and snap it into place and this keeps it secure and for moving it or keeping it in storage and when you release it it just slides back into place. This is the part that will actually punch the holes and these pegs are what you use to activate the holes or not. When they're pulled out they won't work and when they're punched in that means it will punch a hole. Now this center part you will always refer to. This section is for when you're using six inches or larger. So it's when you're creating anything that's six inches or larger. You'll just refer here and it will tell you which pegs to pull in or out. This section is for when you're doing six inches or smaller projects. Now in the back, you can see this receptacle that you can just pull out and throw away your punches. And also in the back here is where you will place your project to compress the wires together to finalize your homemade book. All right, so now let's show you how to use the cinch. Okay, so first I'll show you how to do an easy one. These are just four by six cards, so this would be similar to binding together a set of recipes or just a little brag book if these were photos. So I will look at this side of the direction panel because this is going to be a six inch or smaller project. Now for the larger ones, that's when you move this arm. So for six inch or smaller, I'll keep it in place and I'll look and I'll know that the width is 6 inches, so it says for 6 inches that I release the peg number 12. So I pop out peg 12, don't need to use that one, hold it in place, make sure it's aligned right here, and then firmly press down, and then I have all of my holes punched. So I count my holes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that's how many I know I'll need to cut on my wires. So I'm going to use the silver 3 quarters inch wires. So simply cut these at the 11 mark, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers wire cutters. Then you use this center part over here to line everything up before you compress it. Now with my cut binding wires, I'm ready just to hang this larger, more rectangle piece right on these little teeth right here. And then line up your hole punched paper, pull it off, and now you're ready to go and compress on the other side of the machine your little book. Now before you compress, make sure that this knob is on the 
actual size of the binding wires that you have. So I'm using the 3 quarters inch, so I have it lined up with 3 quarters inch. Then you just lay your book in here with the wires facing this flush part right here. And then get down to look at what you're doing and just push it down until it's just meeting. If you go too far, it doesn't look really nice. And there you go. You have your completed little book. And this is perfect for a little photo album, recipe, or in this case, it's a fun little Easter album. Now I'm going to show you how to do a larger book style project. And this was going to have a front and back cover. And this is larger than six inches. This is eight and a half inches wide. So I'll do the cover and back cover first with one cut. Now you leave everything how it is for this first cut. Just line it up, push down. Now for this part, this is where you'll read on the directions the eight and a half, and you'll pull out peg five. Okay. Then extend the arm all the way to the left. And then the second from the right hole is where you'll slide this in and push down on this little peg release. So this is for anything that's larger than the six inches. So now it's not going anywhere. And I have my, my peg number five extended and I finish cutting. And release this peg on the back part. And now you have it completely cut with the same amount of extra on each side. So now do the exact same thing with your paper. All of these pushed in, line it up. Now extend it all the way to the left, line up the second to the right hole into the little peg thing back here and pull out peg five and finish your cut. Now I have the interior pages for my little eight and a half wide book and I can put it together on this side. Now I've cut my silver three quarter inch binding ring accordingly and I lay it down. And what you're going to want to do is put both the front and back cover together and lay those down. Then add your pages. And then carefully remove it and take it to the other side to compress the wires together. And now I make sure that my dial is set to the wire binding that I have, which is a one inch. And this is going to be larger than my compressing field, so I'm going to have to do it twice. So line it up so that this edge is right here. Get down so you don't compress it too far. You want it just barely touching. Slide it over and do this last part, the same compression. And there you have your finished booklet and now you can bring the cover over to the front and the seam will be covered up in the back. And there you have it, the Cinch Tool by We Are Memory Keepers.